may we have the details of the president's meeting with Aung San, uh, with uh, Myanmar? Yeah, uh, at the request of the government of Myanmar, we had a bilateral meeting today after the opening of the ASEAN summit. Um, we talked about trade relations. There's been some cooperation on a small scale between the Philippines and Myanmar uh, on education. Uh, we both both Myanmar and the Philippines cited that. But I think the issue that everybody wanted to talk about uh, was really the elections that are coming up in Myanmar and uh, the continued detention of uh, opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi. President Aquino expressed um, the willingness of the Philippines to uh, share the Philippine experience in a transition from dictatorship to democracy. He cited our history, where in the 1980s, uh, we made a successful transition that was relatively violence-free. And he said that uh, if the Myanmar government uh, wishes to learn from our experience, and we would be very happy to share our experiences with them. On the issue of uh, the release of Aung San Suu Kyi, the president joined calls from the international community for the immediate release of Aung San Suu Kyi. The Burmese, the, I'm sorry, the Myanmar side replied by uh, explaining how their election was going. The, the uh, Prime Minister of Myanmar said that uh, they had set up an election commission to oversee the upcoming election, which will take place next week. He said that uh, there were many different uh, political parties and ethnic groups that were participating in the elections. And he uh, expressed confidence that the election would be free and uh, fair. But on the issue of uh, Aung San Suu Kyi, he merely said that the Burmese legal processes would uh, take their course. So there was no clear commitment, uh, at least not to President Aquino, on the part of uh, Myanmar to release Aung San Suu Kyi. Sir, but the president is known to be an advocate of uh, democracy, and he said that he would want to see uh, credible elections in Myanmar. So with the non-participation of Aung San Suu Kyi, is this disappointing for the Philippines? It is disappointing, um, not just for the Philippines, I think, but for many of the ASEAN neighbors and many people in the international community. They would have viewed the release of Aung San Suu Kyi as a clear indication that uh, the government of Myanmar was serious about taking steps on its roadmap to democracy. The, um, the lack of a commitment on that was disappointing to the president. Sir, uh, hanggang doon na lang po ba yung magagawa na ASEAN? Hindi na po nila pwedeng maobliga yung Myanmar na <clears throat> to take concrete steps uh, beyond these promises na magkakaroon ng fair elections. Well, sa ngayon, mahirap maobliga ang Myanmar na gumawa ng konkretong hakbang no? patungo sa demokrasya. Uh, alam mo naman na meron tayong ASEAN Charter, pero wala, mahina ang uh, enforcement um, doon sa ASEAN Charter. No? Uh, so, mahirap puwersahin ang uh, Myanmar sa ngayon. Um, ang nagagawa na lang natin sa ngayon, and uh, siguro alam naman natin na para sa marami, hindi sa patito, ay uh, um, kausapin na lang sila para gawin kung ano yung nararapat para sa, para sa kanila, para sa mga tao ng Myanmar. Um, wala pa kaming napag-usapan na kung may iba pang hakbang na pwede tayong gawin para udyokin ang, ang Myanmar na uh, bilisan ang kanilang roadmap sa democracy. Sir, ano pong reaction ng leader ng Myanmar nung sinabi ni President Aquino na willing siya mag-share na experience ng Philippines about transition from dictatorship to democracy? Well, nagpasalamat siya, no? pero sinabi rin niya na at the same time, meron din silang roadmap to democracy na sinusundan daw nila para maging uh, democratic uh, republic na rin ang Myanmar. Now, alam naman natin na uh, marami sa mundo ay may duda tungkol dito sa mga sinasabi ng roadmap to democracy at kailangan siguro natin tignan kung ano yung mangyayari sa kanilang eleksyon at kung ano yung mangyayari kay Aung San Suu Kyi bago tayo maghusga. Pero alam natin na uh, maraming duda, sa ngayon pa lang maraming duda sa mundo kung uh, ipagpapatuloy nito, ng Myanmar ang itong uh, roadmap to democracy. Sir, winning up din po ba ni President Aquino yung absence of election watchers? Mm -hmm. observers, international observers, the absence of international observers sa elections ng Myanmar. Na bring up din ho ba yun? Ah, hindi, pero may nabanggit uh, si Prime Minister, yung Prime Minister ng, uh, ng Myanmar na 
papayagan daw nilang uh, magkaroon ng observers. Pero walang binigay na detalye. Will the Philippines send some, sir, on the part of the Philippine government? We haven't made a decision on that yet. Okay. So, ibig sabihin yung uh, release after the elections, malabo na? Well, ganito yung nangyayari, no? Meron, merong isang minister ng, ng Myanmar na na interview ng international media although hindi siya pinangalan na sinasabi na fina-float yung idea na baka i-release si Aung San Suu Kyi. Ngayon, um, so medyo may ganong klaseng expectation ngayon, ano? Pero yun nga, nung nag-usap sila, wala naman silang kinomit na ganon. So hindi natin alam kung ano yung mangyayari ngayon dun sa issue ni Aung San Suu Kyi. Uh, whether she's released at all is um, I think more the question now as to when she will be released, kung before or after the elections. So, with the, uh, can you update us also on the other meetings of the president? Well, there was a bilateral, kanina umaga na kunang bilateral uh, si uh, Pangulo Aquino kay uh, Thai Prime Minister Abhisit Wechachiwa. Um, malapit ang relations ng, uh, ng dalawang bansa. No? Um, meron tayong trade relations, may mga investor ang Thailand dito sa, sa atin sa Pilipinas. Um, nabanggit ni uh, Prime Minister Abhisit na um, nababahala sila sa paglakas ng kanilang currency, yung BAT, uh, dahil sa ngayon daw, mga 28, 29 to 1, no? Um, so medyo nababahala sila at uh, medyo nagre-reklamo na yung mga exporters nila. Sinabi rin naman natin na nararanasan din natin yung paglakas ng ating uh, piso laban sa dolyar. Nasa 43 tayo ngayon. Uh, maka, siguro mga dalawang taon makalipas, we were just doing about uh, 50. No? So medyo malakas din ang appreciation ng, ng peso. Um, Nag-propose si Prime Minister Abisit na Dapat mas madalas mag-usap ang mga economic managers ng Thailand at ng Pilipinas para yung uh, mga gagawin natin mga hakbang para uh, sagutin itong mga nangyayari sa international markets, sa currencies, ay uh, mas coordinated. Kasi ang sinasabi natin ngayon, parang kanya-kanyang kilos ang mga central banks, uh, mas makabubuti daw kung mag-usap ng mas madalas ang ASEAN uh, finance ministers at uh, central banks para makita kung may paraan ba tayong makipagtulungan para ma, ma, maiwasan yung biglang pagbaba ng dolyar at biglang pagtaas ng ating mga currency. Kasi uh, ang kinakatakutan natin dito is makakasakit dito sa ating mga exports. At sa atin naman sa Pilipinas, makakasakit din sa mga uh, overseas Filipinos na nagpapadala ng pera dito sa Pilipinas. At inibita rin ata ni uh, Prime Minister Abisit si President Aquino na bumisita sa Thailand. Uh, wala pang formal na pagtanggap. Wala, pa, wala pang formal na pagtanggap. Ay, Marie, doon naman sa ASEAN, uh, yung leaders meeting na nangyari kanina, uh, meron tayong panukala na i-adopt yung uh, proposal sa connectivity. Ang ibig sabihin nito ay pag-aaralan natin dito sa ASEAN kung paano tayo makakapag, uh, um, well, physical, logistical connectivity, including IT connectivity. Uh, pag na-enhance yung, uh, let's say, gawin mong mas madali pumunta mula sa uh, Eastern Indonesia, to, to southern Philippines, to let's say Vietnam, kung, mas mad, kung gawin natin mas madali yan, mas uh, mapapaunlad natin ang mga ekonomiya natin dito sa ASEAN. Isang panukala ito ng Pilipinas na uh, tinanggap naman ng ASEAN. So does this include also the roll-off, roll-on system? Yes, it does. So yung isang proposal natin yung sa disaster risk management? Um, Nabanggit din ni President Aquino yan at uh, balak niyang banggitin uli yan uh, sa informal dinner mamayang gabi sa, sa informal dinner ng leaders ng ASEAN. Pero sa ngayon, um, wala pang action doon.